G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, recently I've been asked a uh, couple of questions regarding my dual um, RASA setup. So I thought I'd do this a uh, little bit of a, a, not really a Q&A video, but a, um, a video just answering um, a question uh, regarding it. So um, Steve has, uh, funnily enough, same name, great name, um, has reached out to me and he's been inspired to uh, set up a, uh, a dual RASA um, setup as well. Unfortunately, his uh, RASA 11 got uh, destroyed in the postage. Um, so he's decided to go down the dual imaging um, route. Now, there are some challenges with uh, with dual imaging, but it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And the fact that you can get twice as much data on a night um, really helps out, especially if you don't have really stable uh, weather conditions. But um, one of the questions uh, Steve asked me was, how do I, how did I set up my um, dual saddle plate to move in and out? So hopefully you guys can see this here, but what I've done is I've you know, um, taken out the Allen bolts that come with the, uh, the dual saddle plate and the 14 inch bar. So I've, <laughs> uh, good old Eddie, he's over there somewhere. He's probably going to make an appearance. Um, so what I've done is I've taken out the, uh, the Allen bolts and I've reversed them around and I've pressed some nuts into these two holes here. All right, so when I make my adjustments, I can make them underneath rather than on top. So having to take off a, a rasa and then put it back on and adjust things that way. Now... On the back, what I've done is I've drilled out one of the holes a little bit more to um, recess the Allen bolt in so it can reach up into the um, the, the saddle plate and have a lot more uh, um, secure uh, grip on the, on the nut on the inside. <laughs> um, and plus I wanted to keep it fairly flush as well with this, uh, with this bar here. The other one, which is the adjustment side of things, is done by this Allen bolt here. Now, what I'm gonna do is uh, just go get my uh, Allen key. So I'll be right back and I'll show you how I've done that. Okay, now, as you can see on the back of the plate here, I've taken out a little bit more um, of, the, uh, of the dovetail plate just to help it uh, spin around. So, undo this one here a little bit there we go so you can sort of see how it can can spin around so if i put the allen bolt back in just just like so you can you can see just how much movement i've got and i've had to use the large washer um so that way it can uh, get done up uh, nice and tight and secure so nothing uh, nothing there moves but this here just enables me to move the um the saddle plate um in and out to get the um angle that i want with both my rasses um now in doing that i've noticed that the um the angles that you need for both the rasses to be pointing directly onto the same um uh, target is <laughs> isn't much at all with an asi 294 um mc pro camera because it's a small sensor so therefore it's a smaller field of view um so any little movement will make big movements um in the image now those movements are only probably only a mil or two um different so you don't need to cut out that much there um like I have, because well, let's just face it, I'm no mathematician and uh, I couldn't work out how to um, work out how much movement I actually needed or how far apart the rasses needed to be um, <laughs> to do it. Sorry, distracted there by uh, uh, some someone in there, a uh, nice uh, V8. Um, yeah, so you probably don't need a, a 24 inch. Um, bar 
that I've got here. But I do like the 24 inch bar purely because uh, I've got a place for the two um, ASA Air Pros to, uh, to mount. So um, yeah, that's how I've adjusted uh, all that. All right, I do have a, uh, a few questions here Steve's asked me, and they were, um, if you were starting over, what might you do different, and what would be uh, exactly the same? And to be honest with you, I wouldn't really change anything. Um, it's all working to plan. I did throw in a few other things so that um, – I probably wouldn't mess around too much with the uh, the filter holders, I guess, if I was to, to think about it. Um, I'll just get the just the spacing I had. Um, I was I was just trying to push things, push my Astro a little bit further um, than what I do. So I tend to get one part set up. Yep, that's all sort of working, and then just try and push it some more uh, to try and get as much detail as I possibly can because I just love uh, love detail. Um, so yeah, if I was to do things differently um, in the initial phases of getting everything sorted out, I probably wouldn't um, mess around with the filter holders um, that I had, which can put, which put my backspacing completely out and didn't give me the best uh, focus um, there. Um, no, I wouldn't uh, in, inward or cross-eye my, uh, my rasses. Um, but uh, according to, well, uh, sorry, <laughs> I wouldn't um, cross eye my rasses, uh, but the adjustments um, for the overlapping, like I said, it's only a couple of mils. So if you do get your, uh, your dual saddle plate, which um, I think B&H sell them, uh, that, sorry, not think, that's where I uh, bought mine from B&H photo, and it was the dual saddle plate with the 14 inch bar. So if you, did go down that path um, and alter the 14 inch bar, then you won't have to take away as much as what I did um, to get that little bit of movement. The only re the only reason you, would, I guess, want to get that much movement is if you're to say, maybe put on a couple of 50 millimeter lenses with a couple of cameras and you want to shoot a, a mosaic or, or something like that. Um, with that to get a nice bit of an overlap, but I won't be doing that at all. So um, if, uh, if I had known a little bit more about mathematics and algorithms and all that sort of stuff, uh, I would have been able to probably work it out and go, okay, yeah. Or um, I should have just done a little bit out of, out of time, you know, and taken out a little bit of the, uh, the plate and then tried that and see how that went. Uh, but uh, we don't really get... Um, I didn't really have enough clear skies and I was a bit impatient. So uh, I took out a fair bit, got a fair bit of movement in them. I'm still happy with that. Everything still works well. Secures all nice and tight. Um, so I've got no play or anything like that. When, when they're imaging, they don't move. They're, it's all really nice and tight. So um, there's no problems with that at all. I didn't want to go out and buy the, uh, I think, uh, Farpoint Maker adjustable saddle um, play, and that's, a lot thicker, a lot higher, so it sits a bit higher up than a normal saddle plate. So it kind of puts things out a little bit there and I wanted things to be fairly level and, uh, and all that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really about it. Oh, and the, uh, the stacking side of things. So um, yeah, when I've got two of the rasses pointed in the same subject like my andromeda, uh, it's, it's pretty much just throw the images into the stacking software in PixInsight and it does it all um, automatically. So you don't really have to worry too much about, you know, separate stacking or, or anything like that. Um, I'd only do separate stacking if I was shooting the mosaic panels uh, that I'd like to shoot um, very, very soon. So, uh, yeah, I hope that um, <laughs> it's a bit, bit lengthy. I know. Um, sorry about that, but uh, I hope that helps answer some of your questions and uh, in how I've set up my um, dual saddle uh, plate system there. Also, just quickly too, um, I know I've got two um, 
uh, Los Mandy's uh, D style mounted on top of each other like that, and it's because of the hard stop in the uh, in the newer mounts. Um, so I couldn't uh, couldn't mount it like the old C gem where you can uh, mount it. I think it's uh, east west. Yeah, I think it's east west orientation. Put it into the hand controller that you put it on east west orientation, and then it will adjust things. Um, there, so I was kind of hoping that that's how things would be um, with new apps, but it's not. They got all hard stops in them to stop the cables from twisting up inside and everything like that. So that makes sense. Um, so I've just had to um, mount one plate to the other plate, and uh, that's all bolted together, and it's not going anywhere at all. So uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's it for the uh, ooh, wind's starting to pick up a bit. Um, uh, for how I've set up my dual um, saddle plate for my dual rattles. Uh, if you've got any other questions, um, please reach out to me and, uh, and let me know. Um, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And um, hopefully, uh, hopefully next time I'll be uh, all ready to go with um, uh, with the dual rattles without any other, uh, no filters, just back to the way I was originally and uh, and I'm really looking forward to that session. So uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take it easy. See ya.